welcome to part two. We are doing the carbon ceramic brakes on my X5M. So what we got here is the um, the 400 millimeter brake rotors with the custom hubs. We actually had to uh, revise the hubs and trim some extra material to remove some of the additional weight. Um, these are made to work with the factory parking shoes, parking brakes, um, and the brake calipers are four pistons and the pads are semi-metallic, uh, specifically designated for the carbon ceramic brakes. Um, I'm also gonna be doing a, a stud conversion for the um, rares. And right now I'm actually disassembling the, this is my front I done a little while ago. I am actually currently disassembling the rear passenger side spindle and I already got all the brakes, brake uh, caliper discs and such out of the way. I got the new bracket already installed and I'm actually test fitting everything. It's it's our second revision. We had to adjust a couple things, but we will see how this goes. And the idea is to shed another maybe 80-ish pounds or more. Um, I will attach the comparison pictures and videos of the weight difference between the stock um, rotor and the new one. And I'll just keep you posted as I go. I'm gonna test fit this and I'm gonna actually do a step-by-step -step on the other side. But right now I got everything out of the way. I'm gonna do the um, install the studs here with the red Loctite. Test fit everything. I might need a little trimming on the pads, um, the the backing plates. But again, uh, on the other side, I'm gonna do a step by step. And I'm gonna keep you posted. The other side installed it was fairly easy as, um, as I expected. So what we got going on right now is the driver's side. Uh, the other side is black. Actually, matter of fact, let me show you. <sighs> Pardon the mess. So here we are. Break this. That okay. comes up pretty close to the uh, center hub, but it's still about three millimeters off. Um, Everything looks super good. Just a matter of bedding this in, which is gonna take about a week, like I did with the front, with the front um, front brakes. Okay, so the plan is just like you've seen in many of my videos at this point. We're gonna do get this caliper off. It's gonna be two Allen bolts uh, towards the back, right here, right here. Get this out of the way. It's gonna be a bracket. It's actually my um, big brake, my common big brake kit for, the, for an F85. Um, so I'm gonna get this off, gonna get the brake bracket off. It's gonna be two of these Allen bolts. Be careful, do not strip those. Um, the uh, the rotor is gonna come off at that point. And uh, just make sure you, your parking brake is not engaged because um, the parking shoes will be pushing against the outer sides on the inside. It will be almost impossible to remove it. So yes, I'm gonna get the caliper off and the disc off. I'm gonna clean everything up. I'll be back at the point, at the stage where I'm gonna be cleaning this up. And uh, we'll see what's gonna be the next steps. I'm gonna start on it. And I'm gonna um, attach pictures. Okay, so I got everything ready to uh, start coming back together. So what I got right now is I got this um, shield cleaned up. I got the spindle, I mean the hub area cleaned up. I got copper anti-C is the crucial um, area to use it right there at that um, edge where it angles up. Um, I got this uh, stud kit installed with red Loctite and light, uh, light torque on it. Um, I got new bracket in there as well for the new calipers. Everything clear is I kind of bend the dust shield out the way so I don't really need to um, trim anything. I trimmed the outside. It's not necessary. So once I get the uh, brake disc on and get it bolted up to the hub, next step would be removing this caliper, the stock caliper with the, um, you know, with the holes where it attaches to the stock location up there, right there. And then we're gonna swap out the hose to the new caliper and that's pretty much it. I will keep you uh, posted, but right now I'm gonna install this uh, carbon ceramic ring. So 
again I want to sum this up it's been a couple days that I've been uh, driving this car and actually in my rear carbon ceramic kit so as you see the pads are actually bedding in finally it takes longer than this I guess with, the, with normal steel discs um, the initially on the initial impression the the pads didn't grab much at all but I guess it just takes time and, and proper bedding process that they are actually getting getting properly uh, the pad material transferred onto the carbon ceramic uh, disc so right now the pads are grabby, are super grabby. We are back on track and everything is just feels excellent and awesome. I am super happy with this. Again, the only downside, I was anticipating some noise, I was anticipating some brake dust and whatnot. There is no extra brake dust, much less brake dust. And actually, uh, there is no noise as of yet. And we had some cold temperatures already. So, super happy, uh, definitely recommend. It's not cheap, but it is. Um, it is an excellent upgrade if you can do it. It's definitely the way to go in these cars. Uh, long story short, in the front I took off um, almost 40 pounds in the rotational weight, which is just huge in itself. Even 20 pounds is super major. So this, these discs are 19 pounds opposed to 37 pounds. Um, stock discs and the rears I took off eight pounds which I'm gonna work on this a little better we're gonna do another hub revision um, we took some additional weight off but I see where I can actually remove a couple more pounds of this as well so the goal is to remove 10 10 pounds total out of the of the rear axle and otherwise yes I'm super happy with this car looks mean it brakes excellent and just overall man is just mm, major major deal there so yes uh, thanks for everybody for following up with my project on this carbon ceramic brake upgrade for the f85 and uh, hit me up if you want one it just takes a long time to uh, process to make those hubs it's a custom hub to the uh, built a certain spec but all in all it's a 410 front 400 millimeter rear and this is just beautiful. Thanks everybody and I'll see you on the next video.